So when I'm asked to reflect on the year that was in 2018 as far as the local property market is concerned, a few words come to mind. Challenging would be front of mind, exciting still, uh, exhilarating in some extents, and quite rewarding because through challenges come better built relationships with our clients, both vendors and purchasers alike. And I know our office has had an exceedingly exceptional year when it comes to helping our clients move ahead on their journeys. So what does this all mean then as we sail ahead into uncharted waters for 2019? Well, we know that we're in for a changing landscape, politically speaking. Again, we may have a new prime minister as of the middle of next year, we just don't know. The Royal Banking Commission certainly has had a huge impact on the industry and even locals. What it's meant is that there are fewer investors in the marketplace. But having said that, we do have more first owners getting back into the marketplace. And that's something that we've really enjoyed seeing this year. Let's look at when we talk about a property transaction. Vendors and buyers are all transacting in the same market. And more often than not, our vendors turn into buyers or they may in fact be buyers before they become vendors. So my advice really is let's look at a market which may be uncertain as providing opportunities. Opportunities to upsize, downsize, or make some kind of sea change. My recommendations as far as purchases are concerned is just to make sure you've got those pre-approvals set in place. Remember that they do expire. So being sort of quick to think on your feet with respect to what property you want to go for is critical. Look at getting due diligence done ASAP and putting forward strong offers to secure properties before they have to go to auction. Remembering that you're making a decision that's more than likely to be medium to longer term. So small fluctuations in the marketplace shouldn't impact you going forward. As far as vendors are concerned, well, it's actually pretty exciting. The reality is, is that the focus for vendors needs to be on things that you can control in your campaign. We can't control the media, we can't control the pricing to a certain degree, but we can control how the market perceives your home. And the best way to do that is a living example and its presentation. Focus on how you can best present your home so that it gets the most digital and physical traffic that we possibly can do. One of the extra things that we look at nowadays, obviously, video. If I look at what one of the biggest changes has been in 2018, is probably the enhancement of the digital media world. So with the likes of Facebook and Instagram, putting videos up of our properties on there has probably in most instances doubled, if not tripled, the amount of traffic that we're getting through those homes. It's something you simply can't afford to be part of. Remember, Saturdays are busy days for everybody. Your key driver as a vendor and mine as your agent is to make sure that we make it to the top three of every everyone's wish list for a Saturday viewing. 2019, we don't know what it will hold. We know it's going to be interesting, it's certainly going to be challenging, and I really hope it's just as rewarding as 2018. I'm looking forward to working with you all and seeing you all around. I'm Jackie Williams, thanks for tuning in.